Hello everybody, my name is Maddie and welcome back to my channel, but if you are new, welcome to my channel. So today I am making a video of my collection of all of my tarot and oracle cards. You guys have asked for me to get more into my spiritual side or talk about um, some of my different hobbies and one of my huge hobbies is spirituality and reading tarot cards and oracle cards and crystals and all of that. So I thought it would be nice to give you guys a little tour of my collection. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first one we have, ignore her packaging, okay? Uh, she looks very rough in that she's she's been through it all, okay? This was my first deck that I ever got is the Albano Weight Tarot. It is, like I said, the first deck that I ever got. I am very attached to this deck. I only had one deck for a long time and it was just this one, so she is very well loved and well used. As you can see, the top of it is missing. She has never led me astray. She tells it as it is and I really appreciate her for that. It's a very good beginner one. Um, if you want to get into tarot I would recommend this one because it has all the original pictures and you can learn all the different meanings and kind of get the hang of things. That's kind of what I did before I got into everything. Um, and then I think I'll just start with all my tarot decks first and then we'll do oracle decks. So then the next one I have, I don't have a name for it. I just have the cards because this was a gift from uh, my boyfriend's mom. Um, it is just another tarot deck. Um, the back is really pretty. They look like this. I would have to look it up and see if I can find the name of it because I do not have it. Um, I really like the artwork. The artwork has more of like a traditional look to it. It almost looks like drawings or paintings realism in some of these. I don't really know how to describe it, um, but it was a very nice gift from my sweet almost mother-in-law. Yeah, that is the second tarot deck that I have. And then yet another gift I have from my boyfriend's mom is um, the Murder of Crows tarot. She, when she gave it to me, there was no box because these are ones that she previously had. I don't know if you could tell, but she is very much into tarot and oracles, so me and her get along very nicely. Um, and she she gave me this deck. It looks really dark and looming and brooding and it has only the numbers on the cards. It doesn't have um, any writing on them. They're all in black and white. I haven't used this one that much because if I remember correctly, I think she gave it to my boyfriend to mess around with because one time when we went over to her house, uh, he was really interested in it and really connected with it. But that is the third tarot deck that I have. Um, now on to the next one. I have two of them and it's the Rider Waite Tarot Deck Blood Moon by Dark Forest. We ordered these on Etsy. Me and my boyfriend have matching tarot decks but it's the same exact deck. Uh, it's really cool. I really like the black and red look to it. It looks super pretty um, and also another very dark one and I'll tell you what this one I don't want to say she's negative or brings bad energy but definitely focuses, I think, more on, yeah, I guess the negative parts of a situation. So I don't, we don't read with this one too much, um, mainly for that reason. Sorry, ignore my cat's tail. It's still nice to have. I feel like when I do read with this card, it's when I'm going through a situation where I'm like, just tell me what I need to know, come on, because all the other ones are just being really nice and sugar coaty. And this one does not sugarcoat anything. I'll tell you that much. And then the next tarot deck I have is one of my favorites. It's the Spirit Song Tarot. As you can see, it has animals all on it. It is such a cute deck. I love how in-depth the guidebook is. It's a very nice one. Um, just all the pretty pictures of all the animals. It is so cute and very helpful. I feel like I really connected with this one. I also like how the names are changed for all the different Different suits. So instead of the pentacles, swords, cups, and wands, we have shells, acorns, crystals, oh, and feathers. So yeah, this is just a very nice positive deck for me. That's how I feel like I have bonded with it. You know, it could be different for everybody and I highly recommend getting this one. I know it's kind of a popular one and I can see why. And then another one of my favorite tarot decks is the Tattoo Tarot for obvious reasons. Um, I really love this one. I think it looks so cool. I like how all the 
artwork on it is American traditional tattoo looks. And I think this would be a really cool, like if you kept getting the same card or something like that, you could totally use it as like a tattoo on your body. You know what I mean? The only thing is the guidebook is a little short. Uh, it doesn't have too much details on the cards, but um, this is a really good tarot deck to go to if you feel like you really got the hang of like a traditional tarot deck. Then you won't really need the guidebook that much because you'll kind of just already know what the um, cards mean. But this is just another really cool one. I really like her a lot. One of the OG ones I've had for quite a bit. And then I have two more tarot decks. So the second to the last one is the Kawaii Tarot. I got this one at a bookstore, um, Books A Million to be exact act just because I thought she was cute and she is cute and she's always very accurate for some reason like I didn't know that she was gonna be this woke you know what I mean because they're very simple cards it's not like the type of kawaii style that I thought it was going to be um but I still like it and I think it's really cute I like how small the cards are but oh my gosh does she always hit the nail right on the head it is so crazy yeah no she's she's just a little cutie pie and that is that one and then my my final tarot deck, which is my favorite, and is it my newest? Yes. This is also my newest tarot deck. This was a Christmas gift from my boyfriend, Nathaniel, and it is the Wild Unknown Tarot Deck and Guidebook by Kim Kranz. This one is so wild. I don't know. It is so wild and unknown. But no, seriously, I really connect with this one. I do daily pulls with it all the time. I love the artwork on it. I love how it's like rainbow mixed with black and white. The meanings are very interesting. I like how she describes them in this guidebook. It's a lot more like it makes you think, you know? I highly recommend this deck. I know it's more of a pricier one, but I 100% recommend it. It's, like I said, my current favorite right now. But that is it for all of the tarot decks. And now we are going to get into my oracle decks. So the very first oracle deck that we are going to be looking at is the moon deck. This is one that I got from also my boyfriend's mom. This deck is very feminine and focused. It talks about all kinds of like, you know, girly pop things and I think that's cute. I really like the artwork on this one as well and all of the meanings. It is just a very overwhelmingly positive deck, which I appreciate, especially when you really need it. And the guidebook is super cute because not only does it talk about the meaning, the card and all of that, it also gives you a little ritual that you can do alongside that card, which I love. I love doing small little rituals, especially like with the full moon and stuff so it was a very cute deck and I really appreciate her giving this one to me and then next <laughs> another deck for my boyfriend's mom is the empathic oracle um so this is all about being an empath and stuff like that and I know this sounds so cliche and hippy dippy but just stay with me here this is a really cool deck I believe it was made by a couple yes yeah, Steve and Michelle work but the artwork is a little different on this deck. First of all, the sides of the cards are gold gilded, and I think that is so pretty and so cool. I love when cards have that. But this talks about like all the different things that you'll be dealing with as an empath, or like if you're dealing with this thing, this is what you need to do to resolve it. It is a very helpful deck. The guidebook is goes super into detail about like things to stray away from, things to be more focused on. And I use this deck actually quite often. It is a very helpful one for sure. And definitely has more of a intense artwork, not super like flowy and, you know, hippy dippy as you think whenever you think of someone saying that they're an empath. Um, I think it gives off more of a different vibe. But I really like that one. This is another one of my tried and true decks that I am very much in love with and obsessed with and she is well loved. Also one of my OG ones and that is the Moonology deck by Yasmin Boland. I see a lot of people use it. This one, I don't know, like she, I'm, she's pretty beat up if you look at the edges of my cards. She just kind of goes straight to the point. She gives you an answer. Okay, I can like ask her like give me a word of advice for today and I just got it's time to release negative energy, full moon and Scorpio. She's very, you know, 
simple and a very good beginner deck because it has a lot of the meanings just right on the cards and I love working with her. So this is my um, newest deck that I've ever gotten. So I'm not super well acquainted with her yet, um, but I really like her a lot because um, it's all based off of intuition and all of that. And I'm super big on intuition and like manifesting and all of that because I do think manifesting isn't just like, oh, you think a positive thing is gonna happen so now it's going to happen. Like, I don't think it's just like as simple as that. I just believe in the law of attraction. Um, you attract whatever you put out because that's just how things work. And this deck is all about that. It is the Work Your Light Oracle Cards by Rebecca Campbell. These are all cards just about improving your intuition. Um, I really like the guidebooks and the artwork on these is astonishingly good. It is one of my favorites. That was the main reason why I picked her out. <laughs> I also got this one at the same bookstore. I got the um, Kawaii Tarot deck. I'm still trying to get the hang of her. The only complaint I have is it doesn't have like any numbers or anything on the card. So whenever you're looking for the meaning of the card, like, cause I'm still learning it. So I'm still using the guidebook. It gets a little annoying having to go to the table of contents and then look for that page. Um, I'd rather it just be on the card. You know what I mean? Like a number. Other than that, she's a great deck. I can't wait to use her more. Uh, this one is my boyfriend's favorite deck. Uh, one of my favorites too is by Heather Askinosi. It's the um, Daily Crystal Inspiration deck. This is another pretty popular one. I see a lot of people use this one. And this is really good if you're trying to learn crystals. I wouldn't know half of the bullshit I know about crystals. If it wasn't for this deck, it just like gives full meanings about them. Um, it's really nice because if I'm looking to carry a crystal around for the day, I'll pull one of these cards and I have most of the crystals in this deck. So then I'll be like, oh, like, okay, then I'll carry my angel light around me today. I, I It's just a very helpful inspirational deck and um, it's in the name, I guess, Daily Crystal Inspiration. It's another really good beginner one because it has the meanings right on the card and obviously it goes into more detail in the, um, in the guidebook. So yeah, the Daily Crystal Inspiration deck. And the next one I have is another deck that does not have a box that was given to me also by my boyfriend's mom. And this one has big cards. It is the Lunar Nomad Oracle. It has some big juicy cards. Um, I don't use this one too much, uh, mainly because I do have a hard time shuffling because <laughs> the cards are so big. And also the guidebook goes into a ton of detail, sometimes like a lot, like two pages worth. And I know you're like, oh, that doesn't sound like that much, but it's just hard to keep up with. You know what I'm saying? Like she got big cards. She got a whole lot of meaning to her. I would like to use her more and I think I'm going to try to make an attempt to use her in more of my readings because the artwork on it is so pretty and I know I'm saying that about every deck but I just love artwork on cards like that was the main reason why I really started getting into like oracle cards um is because I just wanted to see the artwork on all the different cards and this is such a pretty deck she is the full package for sure and maybe her energy is too high vibrational for me it's still a really cool deck and I like the idea behind it you know it kind of has a more of like a steampunky type of vibe to it which I think is cool um and we're down to the last three oracle decks we have the earth warriors or Oracle. I think this is the second deck I ever bought, which was kind of a mistake because she is hard to read. It is all based off of like Native American type of vibes, which I love, but it is so hard to read. Like I still have not graduated from not using the guidebook with this deck. I don't know, like I am not going to pull a card like Circle Cross of Tenon. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. In know what that means you know um and sometimes if i just want to make things quicker i would rather not use the guidebook um whenever i'm doing readings uh but this one i still have to use the guidebook so i don't use her too much but then that in turn is making me still have to use the guidebook more because then i gotta use her more to not have to use it you know what i'm saying it's a very beautiful deck she is a very positive one. I have noticed that she is very positive and nice and sweet. Always makes me feel like I'm getting a nice big hug whenever I read with this deck. And I appreciate Queen for that. No, for real. So 
Uh, that is the Earth Warriors Oracle deck by, oh, it's by Alana Fairchild. And then next we have another one of my top, mm, I'd say three favorite decks, and that is the Tea Leaf Fortune cards. These are one circle shaped cards. So of course I'm obsessed with it. I just think that is so cute. And there's a ton of them. It is kind of a struggle to shuffle these, but I'm sure you will be able to do it, I promise. And this one, I haven't needed to use the guidebook ever since I got her. And you know, I really recommend if you're a beginner trying out these cards. Um, they're just very simple. I feel like it's really good for laying out like a scene. Like, you know what I mean? Like person, place, thing, who, when, where, what, how, why type of situation. I really love her. I love using her in almost every single one of my readings, asking a question, like elaborate on this card more. Um, she's really good for elaborating, I feel like. And yeah, just, I feel like my second favorite deck next to my um, Wild Unknown Tarot. And then my third favorite and our final Oracle deck that we're gonna be looking at is also by Kim Kranz. It is the Wild Unknown Archetypes deck and guidebook. And these are also, would you believe it, circle cards. This is a really intense deck. I have a hard time shuffling with this one because it's big circle cards, uh, but man, does it look cool. And man, does it make me think. She makes me think big thoughts. Like usually how this deck works is when I read with it, I have no idea what it's talking about when I first pull the card. And then it's always when like something hits like a week later and I'm like, oh my God that's what that card meant. Oh, Jesus. And the other thing that Kim Kranz just gets in all of her decks is the packaging. The packaging is super nice and hefty and cool. And every time you slip something off or open up a new box, it has something cool going on. Um, and with that, that is all of my tarot and oracle decks. Um, it's definitely a quickly growing collection. So expect to be getting updated collections in the far future because I cannot stop buying these. You know what I mean? Like I, every time we go to the bookstore as like a little date, I just run right to the tarot section and I'm just like, like I go crazy. <laughs> Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's very different from what I typically do. I am very into this stuff and I would love to talk more about it in the future. And with that, I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye. Love you.